Now for the last parts of this question, parts E and F, in E we've got to write down the median of X and the mode of X. And then in F we've got to describe the skewness of the distribution of X and give a reason for our answer. Well, for part E anyway, if we're trying to find the median of X, we know that the probability of our random variable X being less than the median, I'm going to call it M if you like, has got to equal a half. And M is obvious. It's going to be the value 1. It's obvious because the probability, which is given by the area to the left of the 1, is clearly a half. The area of this rectangle. OK, so therefore M is equal to 1. Now, the mode of X, well, on a probability density function, it's always the value that gives us the highest point on the graph. The highest point is here, and that corresponding value is K. So the mode, then, is going to be equal to K. Or we worked out the value of K in an earlier part of the question. It was a half multiplied by 1 plus root 5. So any of those two answers ought to be OK. Now, in the last part then, part F, we've got to describe then the skewness of the distribution of X. Is it positive skew or negative skew? Well, the answer is it's negative skew. And I know that because they've got us to work out the median and the mode. And the median is a value which is less than the mode. And when you have this situation, it gives us negative skew. So therefore, we have negative skew. If it was the other way around, the mode was less than the median, then we would have positive skew. But for this example, we have negative skew. OK, so I hope that's given you some idea then of how we would go about these last two parts.